Hello, it's the Amazing Atheist coming to you live and uncut. Well, I'm not really live, but I mean, this is all recorded live, which, you know, it usually is, but then it's edited afterwards, whereas this is just being recorded and then uploaded and that's it. And there's no trying to fix it. And, you know, if I sound like a moron, that's just how it goes. And I already sound like a moron. Oh my God, I'm so insecure. Anyway, um... What's going on here? We're answering questions. Where were the questions asked? They were asked on my other channel, TJ Does Life. If you're not subscribed to TJ Does Life, I'm going to put like an annotation somewhere on here. It's, it'd probably, probably be in like this corner, right right over here. And uh, TJ Does Life, that's my other channel. And I upload it, not super consistently, but consistently enough that it's worth subscribing to. So check that out. And uh, I guess we're going to get right into questions. We're, uh, I, these are not selected questions. These are not like carefully uh, picked for their, you know, uh, their amazingness or um, because they're really insightful or anything. These are just like, I'm literally just reading every question that was submitted um, in the order <laughs> that they were submitted. Um, YouTube system is probably going to give me shit for trying to do that uh, at some point in this video, but whatever. So it's 6.50 p.m. now. I'm probably going to try to go for like 30 minutes to an hour. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Let's get started. Celebrate with an ass video, please. That's actually not a question, but it's a comment, and it was the first comment, so whatever. Uh, why are you so handsome? Thank you! I don't know what it is. It's probably um, probably that your vision is not that great, honestly. But you know what? Fine. We all have different tastes. I'm glad that your tastes include um, neck beards like myself. Would you be nervous? I'm, I keep I'm like wanting this water. I'm like, eh, gotta find the right moment. Gotta find the right moment. My hands like, come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. And I'm like, all right, I'm trying to do a video right now, but I will. Would you be nervous about becoming a father? I think that, uh, you know, it's not that hard. Just send someone a check every month. I mean, that doesn't seem like it's too difficult of a process. Um, what is your take on bacon strips for extra gay rights? Oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. What is your take on bacon strips with extra rights for gays? I mean, it's sheer nonsense either way, but it might as well be the nonsense that they wanted it to be, right? I should look at the camera more when I talk instead of like, eh, looking at the camera. This, now you feel like we're having a connection. This feels like a real conversation. Yeah. You're talking to me. Isn't it great? Isn't it novel? Anyway. Um, you won a grand prize of 50 cocks in your mouth. You have the option of sucking them all at once or one cock a month for the next 50 months. And that is apparently from the movie Goon, which I have not seen. But, um... I don't know. It doesn't, you know, like it's it'd be like if if you have to suck them, like, like it, it, you know, I don't think you should go for the all at once. Like, even if your thought is like, let's just get it over with. Like, you know, if you're like a, a heterosexual guy and you just don't want to suck a cock at all, I'd still space it out over the fifty months because you know, fifty at once, that's just gonna destroy you. You know, you won't even be able to fit that. You're just gonna die. You know, and plus. You know, that's how many gallons of semen is that by the time it's all said and done? I don't know. You're gonna you're gonna you're not gonna be happy though. That's the point. Um, TJ, my girlfriend is beautiful, intelligent, and funny woman, but she likes nickelback. What do I do? Um She's obviously not intelligent if she likes nickelback, so you know, obviously you're delusional. If any past YouTuber would start making videos again, who would you like it to be? Uh, I don't know or care. If you could morph into a clone of anyone on command, who would it be? Why would I want to be anyone other than myself? Actually, I would be myself with a giant cock. Can I do that? Is that in the rules? If that's in the rules, I'd choose that. What should I do with my life? Uh, whatever you want. It's kind of why it's your life, right? Uh, but if you want my advice... Um, you should be a sex slave to the Russian mob. That's my idea. Have you ever taken, 
Have you ever considered taking part in a debate talk ting that has been going on at Paul's Ego's channel recently? If not, is there something that could be changed to make you interested in it? Structure, subjects for discussion. I don't even know what Paul's Ego is up to these days. I haven't seen one of his videos in ages. How long do you think it will be before the U.S. has to default on its debt, or will it ever? Um, you know, that's a good question. You'd probably be better suited asking it to, like, an economist or something rather than me. But if you want my opinion, I would say that unless we're able to stop the uncontrolled growth of the debt, we will end up having to figure out some way to pay it off in the future. Either that, or we're just going to um, completely default and just be like, fuck it all. And who knows, uh, afterwards, um, we'll just all be fucked, I guess, for a while. And uh, eventually things will just return to normal. But it'll be a new normal. Uh, a slightly less good normal than the normal before. It's kind of like when gas was super cheap and everyone's like, woo! and then it got really expensive and then really expensive just became the new normal and now people are just like yeah four dollar gas what you can do that's just how much gas is um what are your views about incest do you think it should be legal between consenting adults well i mean uh the thing about this and i've answered this question before is that you know a lot of times when people are against something like incest, it's because they are personally disgusted by the idea of like, well, I would never have sex with my mother or my sister or my brother or my cousin or what the fuck ever. And they say, well, that's because, you know, ugh, I don't want to do that. So it should be illegal. But I mean, you don't have to do something just because it's legal. In fact, most people do not want to have incest. But if two consenting adults do want to have incest and they fucking happen to reveal that to one another and they fucking say, hey, this is like our opportunity, right? And then they start doing what they're going to do. Why should the police jump in and like stop it? Like, no, you two aren't allowed to do this because, you know, it makes us grossed out. I mean, there's lots of things that gross me out, like... Um, uh, Katy Perry, for instance, she grosses me out, but people still listen to her. I don't think it should be against the law to listen to Katy Perry. I just think that if you had any sense, you wouldn't do it. And maybe the same is true for incest. I'm not condemning anybody, whatever. Um, what is your opinion on anorexic people? Also, more Q&As is a good thing, you fucking 4T bastard something i don't know anyway uh anorexic people they make good toothpicks you know uh would you ever do a video with holly we did a video once it was never released it was gonna be a q a for her youtube channel she has a small channel i don't even know the url she never really uses it she was just gonna do it for like her tumblr audience but um i basically hijacked it and she never put it out um, TJ, what are your thoughts on a voice for men? Also, what do you think about their designation as a hate site by many people? Uh, I, you know, I'm not an MRA personally. I, I think that, you know, some of the points they bring up are interesting. Um, I've done an interview with a voice for men before and they seemed pretty on the level to me, but I'm not really an avid reader of their site. Um, but once again, I mean, they seem perfectly rational when I was uh, talking to them, but I don't want to make any claims as to their um, integrity because I just don't even know what their internal operations are. I really don't know what um, the beliefs that they hold are beyond just uh, we're in favor of men's rights, um, which I don't think that, you know, the idea of men's rights is an inherently bad thing any more than the idea of women's rights is an inherently bad thing. But I kind of worry that the MRAs just become a, a, a flip side uh, to the feminists. And I mean, my, femi my, my, criti my criticisms of feminism are um, pretty uh, well established out there. I don't think anyone would have trouble figuring out what my feelings are towards uh, most modern uh, incarnations of feminism. Math! 
What do you think about math? Um, math is cool. I'm not too good at it personally, but it's good that some people are, and I really appreciate that it is, um, you know, uh, a, a great tool that brings us closer and closer all the time to understanding, um, at least in as much as our uh, pitiful human minds can understand, um, the universe. Because if there's any legitimate purpose to the human race, I think it's uh, exploration and uh, ascertaining greater and greater amounts of uh, knowledge, especially knowledge about um, how this universe came to be, how these structures arise, how everything works. Um, I think that's, uh, that's important. And, you know, once we have that answer, I don't, I don't know what we'll do with it. But it seems like as we've gotten closer and closer to the truth of the universe, our power as a species has grown and grown and grown. I mean, we went from an ignorant uh, race of hunter-gatherers who, you know, thought the world was flat and fucking were ecstatic if they could... Uh, God damn, my nose itches like a son of a bitch. They were ecstatic if they could find some fucking berries or, you know, maybe kill a fucking boar or something. And now we can fucking split atoms. We can fuse atoms together. We can we 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 know how to read people's DNA. Uh, you know, designer babies aren't far off. The 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 prospect of transhumanism, the augmentation of human beings with technology, is not far off. So I mean, there, there's a lot of cool stuff that uh that has happened. You know because of um, math. And I think that's good. So I'm pro-math, even though I suck at it personally. Uh, also, what makes you happy? Happiness is uh, a temporary state, you know? It's not, it's not supposed to be this continuous like thing where it's just like, I'm just happy for no reason, for forever. Like, happy should be because of a certain, you know, um, stimuli, right? It shouldn't just be, I'm happy because I'm happy. I mean, that's just, that almost seems like a, a, a mental condition. I think that if you're happy, it should be because something good has happened. And when good things happen, yes, I'm happy. Um, the rest of the time, I would describe myself as uh, reasonably content. You know, I don't feel uh, miserable. I do occasionally have uh, my bouts with um, sadness, with depression, with uh, the lack of uh, motivation to do much of any anything. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I get over it. I fucking, you know, man up and just, well, got to do what I got to do. So I fucking pull myself up by my bootstraps. And I do what needs to be done for the good of America. A while ago you tweeted that you didn't really like the Breaking Bad finale. Could you maybe elaborate a bit more as to why or how it could have been better? I never said that. I, n I never said anything like that. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, sir. I don't know where the fuck you got your information, buddy. But you and I, we're going to fucking meet in the parking lot. And I'm going to fucking do things to you. I'm an atheist at a Catholic school. Should I switch out or stay? Should I stay? Would you rather go to a public school or a Catholic private school as a teenager? Um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, like, the stupidity that you find in one place is going to be pretty much equivalent to the stupidity you find in the other. Simply because if you're in high school, you're surrounded by idiots no matter what. That's just, like, the rule of high school. Even if you went to, like, a prestigious academy for, you know, the, the supposedly smartest people in the world, you'd find that it really wasn't that. It was just a place for a few of the smartest people in the world and then a bunch of rich people. Um, you know, well-connected people who can get their fucking kids in any institution. I mean, George Bush fucking went to, uh, you know, Yale or whatever he went to. One of those fucking supposedly prestigious schools. I think it was Yale. 
What are your thoughts on the Kosovo War? Since I'm Albanian, I've always thought what your opinions were on it. Sorry if it has been answered before. Thanks. I don't know jack shit about the Kosovo War, and me trying to get through an answer would just be embarrassing. Which of the major academic subjects do you think is the most important? Math, science, social studies, or English? Well, without English, you can't possibly convey... I mean, well... Obviously, if you're not, if you don't speak English, then it's another story. But I'm going to assume when you say English, you mean like language in general, you know, grammar and the, you know the defined structure. I mean, without the ability to communicate ideas, pretty much everything else is meaningless. So I would have to say, um, not necessarily English, but uh, you know, language in general. And now here's where YouTube fucks me because I have to refine where I was here of the way they fucking order organize their comments i don't even it shouldn't even be called organization the way they just fucking the why after a million fucking revisions to youtube that no one asked for and no one wanted youtube no one wanted these revisions youtube was fine like 30 versions ago but um but they can't fix the goddamn comment section. It's still a lousy, broken pile of goddamn shit. Does that not frustrate anyone else? It frustrates me. Whatever. Um, favorite sandwich. Also, meatballs. I want to know where you stand on the controversial topic of meatballs. Ironically, my favorite sandwich is a meatball sandwich. So that should answer both questions. What are your thoughts on Onision and Thunderfoot's horrid fail videos about rape i've never seen either of their videos i would assume that thunderfoot's video on rape is probably pretty good considering how good he's been on other videos that deal with feminist uh, issues i would i would never watch an onesian video under any circumstance though uh what do you think about new cosmetic wait sorry what do you think about testing new cosmetic products on animals? I'm questioning the need to create these new products, not the need to test on animals. Sorry for my bad English. Um, you know, they're always going to need to create new products because people get sick of the other ones, you know. Maybe some fucking skin cream makes this claim like, oh, it's going to make you look young and just going to fucking fix your fucked up pores and get rid of your wrinkles and all this shit. And then people go out and buy it and it doesn't work, you know, so they stop using it. So they got to come up with a new product the next fucking, you know, uh, cycle uh, to, to do the same thing so that all the people who's like that other shit didn't work, but maybe this shit will because people are desperate and they want uh, corporations to solve all their problems. But should, no, nothing should be tested on Nothing cosmetic should be tested on animals anyway. You know, I have no problem with animal testing if it's uh, for the like, legitimate life-saving purposes. But just, you know, to, to make sure that the mascara works, I don't, I don't give a fuck, you know. I'd rather there just be no mascara. Um, do you watch Hell on Wheels? Nope. Do you play any musical instruments? Nope. Do you have a stance on the gun debate? Yep. Uh, my stance on, on guns is watch Ken Burns' documentary on Prohibition. It's just called Prohibition. It's on Netflix, at least in America. And other, if you live anywhere else in America, you could probably find it on some kind of torrent, some fucking where. Watch. It, it's great because it's a three-part documentary, and each part is like two hours long, and the first part is all about how we uh how the prohibition movement got started how it grew and how they got their law passed the second part of the documentary is all about what a horrible fucking catastrophe it really was and the third part of the documentary is about how people came to their senses and fucking got rid of that stupid shit um now alcohol legitimately was a social ill uh, you know, you know, men would go to saloons, they would drink, they'd go home, they'd, uh, you know, do unspeakable things to their families. Some of them would, uh, you know, beat their wives, rape their daughters, uh, just, you know, whatever sort of things they would repress on a normal basis. All of a sudden, 
these they were just violent and these men were basically like part of the working class which were totally you know powerless at the time basically they these men were at the mercy of companies that gave them uh, long hours of hard labor for terrible pay so of course these guys wanted to get drunk um, of course they wanted to spend every fucking cent they had on booze to numb the fucking pain of their shitty existence. Uh, unfortunately, it made the existences of their, um, families rather, um, unbearable. So that's why alcohol was banned in the first place. But, you know, when you ban something, it doesn't really stop, especially if you don't actually have the means to enforce the law which uh, they didn't, and it just created a black market, which created all this violence, and people never really stopped drinking, you know, all, all they really did was, was make criminals of the people who, who did drink, and, uh, and, you know, when you create a criminal enterprise, you're going to create more criminals and bigger criminals. Uh, I think there was actually some statistics that said that drinking went up during Prohibition. I don't know if that's true, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and I think the same thing would happen if you tried to prohibit guns. I think, you know, you could point to a lot of social ills caused by guns. Look at these fucking shooters. Um, these, these guys, they go into these schools and they blow a bunch of little kids away or something. We gotta get rid of these guns. That's the problem. Uh, you get, then you get rid of the guns. All you're gonna do is you're gonna create that black market... People aren't going to give up their guns. They're going to become criminals. Not only are they going to become criminals, they're going to become armed criminals. Um, you know, some honest people might give up their guns. But, I mean, the, the, the people who, you know, use guns to shoot up schools and shit, they're not going to give up the guns. And they'll still be able to get them just as easy. They might be able to get them easier because a black market has even less, um, you know, uh, obstructions to getting something. You know, if, if you can find it, there's no barrier at all to buy it. They'll sell it to someone who's like, I'm gonna fucking kill a bunch of people. It's like, okay, as long as you don't kill me, buddy. Give me your fucking 200 bucks. Here's your gun. Have fun with your little murder spree. You know, uh, be sure to come back again for all your murder needs. I mean, I think that's all that would happen. Uh, so I don't, I don't really, uh, believe in, in, um, banning guns. When it comes to just controlling guns, yeah, I mean, I think that makes sense. Like, you have to register your car, so why wouldn't you have to register your fucking gun? I think you should have to register your gun, there should be a database of all the guns and all the gun owners. And, you know, if that, uh, freaks you out, makes you uncomfortable, too damn bad. It makes me uncomfortable to live in a country where we don't have to do that. So, whose discomfort wins out in the end? I guess that's just going to be for time to tell. Hey, TJ, your dog is a virgin? As far as I know. TJ, I've never felt truly part of any group. When I was with people, be it in school or work or just random friends, it feels like there is some connection missing that other people have with each other and I'm missing. But at the same time, I'm not sure that I really want to fit in with people. I don't want to be a part of whatever's going on. I don't like it. I don't understand it. Yet I still really want to make connections with people. Any advice on what I should do? I would imagine that at some point you'll find uh, people you can connect with and uh, and you'll 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 form those profound connections that you desire it's just that you're not really suited to to making that sort of connection with most people and if the day never comes then i'm sure you'll adapt and uh, become uh, a self-sustained person uh why are you such a hypocrite i don't know it just str i was like sitting there like what what kind of person should i be should i be an altruist no, that's too stressful. <sighs> Should I be a degenerate? Yeah, degenerate sounds fun. But, you know, sometimes I don't want to be a degenerate. Sometimes I want to condemn the degenerates. So you know what I'll do? I'll be a degenerate, but then I'll condemn the degenerates. I, you know what I'll be? I'll, I'll be a hypocrite. That's good. That'll work. TJ, what do you think of dubstep? I don't. What are your... Uh, I'm sorry. What was the moment 
when you stop being if you ever were concerned about your penis size? I don't know. I was I was never too concerned about. It. I guess I was concerned about it when I was like 15 or something. But, you know, once I got out there in the real world, it, it really never really presented a problem. So, I guess that I might have had some inadequacy going into like my late teens, like 18 or 19, but I mean, like it, that's all so far in the past that whatever. Uh how do you deal with jonesing? Well, I just quit Black and Milds, which are like cheap cigars that are really just big, giant cigarettes. And uh, I smoked those pretty much daily for a while, and I quit them, and I've had the, 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 the lingering addiction since then. I've wanted to smoke them. I've just been like, give me a fucking Black and Mild now! But of course... I can't smoke them. Um, but, you know, I mean, uh, I've, I've had a couple of relapses where I fucking, you know, knew I was making a mistake, knew I was fucking up, but I did it anyway. But those have been isolated. It's not like I've ever gotten back into the habit of doing it, so that's good. I mean, there have been those isolated incidences, um, and I'm sure there probably will be a, little, a few more in the future, but hopefully I can uh, get it under control and I won't be smoking that shit. Um, as for, like, weed or something, there's no real Jones for that. I mean, there's kind of like, man, it'd be cool if I had some weed, but you're not, like, sitting there like, God damn, need my fucking weed or I can't deal with reality. Uh, although there are some people who get like that. Uh, but that's not the majority of people who smoke pot. Uh, how much longer do you think the human race will exist? Do you think humans will ever be able to get uh, to other solar systems? You know, I don't know. I'd give us a... I, mean, I really want us to have that future. I really want us to be the 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 species that unites together as one people and explores space like on Star Trek. That'd be really awesome. Um, I like that show, and the reason I like that show is because I like that idea of the future. I like the idea that we set aside our pettiness and greed and stupidity and unite and and take to fucking space. Like, hey, let's seize our destiny and fucking, like, there is no God, so let's be God. Let's go out there and fucking carve out our niche in the fucking universe. But it seems like people will never set aside their pettiness, their stupidity, their small-mindedness. They're just gonna, they just want to fucking perpetuate some stupid cycle of, you know, oh, well, I'm gonna, oh, I was born, and I'm gonna find a wife, and I'm gonna have kids, and then my kids are gonna grow up. And they're going to find husbands and wives, and they're going to have kids, and then their kids are going to grow up, and they're going to... Da, da, da. And, like, that's all you want out of life. Like, we, I reproduced, you know, basically I'm just bacteria. I, I fucking replicated, now I'm good. It's stupid. You could be so much more. You could be so much fucking more than that humanity. But I guess you don't see it. Um... What are some of your all-time favorite films other than Unforgiven and Seven Samurai? Those are my two favorite films. Um, also, have you ever considered liposuction surgery? Well, fuck you. I don't need no liposuction. I'm big and beautiful. Um, my favorite movies other than Unforgiven and Seven Samurai. Well, I like a lot of the Kurosawa films. And I like a lot of Clint Eastwood films, and those are that. I guess that it, Seven Samurai is my favorite Kurosawa film, and Unforgiven is my favorite Eastwood film. Um, but then there's like a lot of other movies that aren't even related to that shit that I like. But I can't really pick, like I can't really rank something off the top of my head. For me, that's a decision that requires like a lot of agonizing. You know that I mean, like I I still can't decide which I like better between Unforgiven and Seven Samurai. It kind of alternates between the two. Um, and, you know, really, my favorites of things changes depending on my mood, right? It doesn't everyone's. So, I mean, the idea of a favorite movie really is kind of strange to me. Um, I guess another film that I really enjoy is Kill Bill. Um, both parts. I consider them one film. Um, I wish they'd been released as one film. I would have loved to go see, like, a five-hour Tarantino movie. What are your long-term goals? Making videos and books until you die, or do you have bigger dreams? More specifically, have you considered public speaking, debates, or even stand-up comedy? Um, I have a 
aversion to humans. So, like, stand-up comedy I probably wouldn't want to do just because, you know, I like to speak to an audience that's kind of pre-selected for me. You know, they they basically decide whether or not they want to be there for me specifically, and if they don't, they just don't fucking show up. Whereas if it was stand-up comedy, I'd just be talking to, like, a random assortment of people who are just like, Hey, it's a, it's a stand-up comedian, just like the carrot top. We're going to laugh tonight. Then they're going to see my act and just like, Yeah, this guy sucks. This is garbage. Public speaking and uh, debate. I mean, I can do public. I, I can fucking be in front of a crowd easily. Because... When I'm at the center of attention, I don't even see individual people. I just see the crowd. And I'm not embarrassed in front of the crowd. It's really just one-on-one that I start to get embarrassed. Or, like, if I'm in a big group of people, but I'm not the center of attention, then I feel weird. But, um... So I could do public speaking, probably. I could do debates. I've done debates. I've never done a a live... I've never done a debate in person, but I've done debates online on, like, you know, through uh, Google Hangouts and shit. Um, making videos and books until you die, or do you have bigger dreams? Um, you know, I, I'd like to make movies at some point. Um, I'd really like to be, uh, someone who does that in some capacity, whether it's just as a producer or a director or a screenwriter or something like that. I'd like to, to, to bring stories to life. I'd like to write fiction books, not just essay collections like I've written so far. Um... So I guess that that's my my ambition, my my as as of yet unaccomplished goals all kind of involve telling stories that I've had inside my head for a long time and have never really found the opportunity to unleash. Um, thoughts on Pokemon? I don't care. I thought it would be gone by now. I remember watching it when I was a kid, just because I had a crush on Misty. But at that point, it, but at this point, it'd be creepy to have a crush on Misty because like. At the time, she and I were, like, the same age, but now she's, like, still a teenager, and I'm, like, 28, so. What do you think of the popular MMORPGs such as EverQuest 2 or World of Warcraft and the addiction to it and how it affects us? I don't give a fuck if that's what you want to do. It's not my thing, but hey. Are you looking forward to Dumb and Dumber 2? It's actually called Dumb and Dumber 2. You wrote the number two, but it's actually the word two, and not even the proper, like, the not even the also two with two O's, just the regular T-O, Dumb and Dumber 2. So, yeah, that's part of the, it's part of the fucking joke, fucker. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to it, because I think that Jim Carrey is washed up, and I think that um, the other guy uh, is, I don't even know what the fuck he's been doing for the last ten years. What do you think of Warner Brothers calling the next Superman movie Batman vs. Superman? Well, if it lives up to the title, I don't care. I mean, if it actually has Batman vs. Superman and Batman kicks his fucking ass, then it's a good movie. If Superman wins, fuck that movie. Um, Not another banana. No, not yet. Besides, I'd never repeat the same thing twice. I'd do something else. Uh, if you had to be molested by five comedians when you were little, which five would they be? And then he asked a bunch more questions, but... Well, let's see, they're actually follow-up questions. At what age would you want which one of them to molest you? Age choices are 4 to 14. Would you want them to do it at once or separate? Also, would you rather have a three-way between Penn and Teller and, or Cult of Dusty and Thunderfoot? Or would you rather just get gang-banged by all four? I'll go with all four just because fuck you. And as for the, uh, I'd be molested by Bill Hicks at age four, George Carlin at age five, um, and then no other comedians are worthy of molesting me, so just those two. Uh, and if you want me to be molested by more, they can't, because George Carlin killed me after he molested me. You fucking strangled me to death. Um, why is it that feminists take the issue of rape and domestic abuse so seriously? It's practically gotten to the point where they think you shouldn't be allowed to joke about them. Well, it's it's got it's definitely gotten to the point where they think you can't joke about them. I mean, you tell a rape joke, and you're literally as bad as a rapist in the eyes of the feminazis. Um, but but rape and domestic abuse should be taken seriously. I mean, so I mean, they shouldn't be taken seriously to the exclusion of all else in the world. But they should be taken seriously. Uh, what did Steven Crowder say about you? Um, oh, I guess I can, I can, yeah, well, when I was on Polypop, uh, 
I basically heard that Steven Crowder told um, one of the other guys that worked at Polypop. I don't remember his name. He basically told him that that he was going to sue me because I I, uh, I um, slandered him or whatever when I said that uh, he obviously threw the first punch in that fight that he was in at that rally a number of years ago or that he instigated the fight. Um, and later, the funny thing is that he, you know, his whatever hope of a lawsuit he had disappeared when the judge basically ruled that he agreed with me that Steven Crowder fucking instigated the damn fight. I'm surprised that he didn't charge Steven Crowder with assault, which he should have. Um, what do you think about the return of CISPA? It's, it's been back like 20 times now. Uh, you have stated before that you enjoy The Walking Dead. I would like to know your thoughts on the new season. I think it's pretty interesting so far. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same show it's always been. I mean, if you, if you didn't like it before, you're not going to like it now. If you liked it before, I don't see any reason why you'd stop liking it now, because it's pretty much the same fucking show. You know, I mean, <laughs> you think that, you know, it's, it's not really, it's not like one of those shows where you never really know what you're going to get. Like, Dexter was always a grab bag. You're always like, is this going to be a good season or a shitty season? And, um, you know. I pretty much liked all the seasons of Dexter except for season three. I even thought that season eight, which is probably the most maligned season, really is not as bad as people say. And I'm, I'm going to be explaining that in a future video, though. Uh, I'm going to do like a comparative analysis of the Breaking Bad finale and the Dexter finale kind of side by side. And it's not really to say, you know, like one did good and one did bad or anything like that. Really, I liked them both, honestly. Um, it's more just to, to compare and contrast like how two iconic TV shows chose to end and then how they were received by the public and why I think they were received that way. Um, so hopefully that video will be done in the future. Um, I think I've done about 35 minutes now. Uh, we'll keep going until we're at the end of all the comments that are loaded up on this screen. Um... What do you think of the YouTuber Wrestling Jesus? Never heard of him. Would you rather fork you eyeball out or get anal penetration from an elephant's trunk? Can't we do both? Uh, what is your opinion on what's been happening in Egypt for the past couple of months? I don't know. Did they destroy the pyramids or something? I've not been keeping up with Egypt. Is it still just the same civil unrest bullshit like, we're fucking tired of this and we're going to tear this government down? Because I think they already did that like three times now. They keep doing it. Just perpetual unrest. It's really this, kind of the same thing over and over. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Are you a fan of the Smashing Pumpkins? I was back when they were really the Smashing Pumpkins, but now they're just like... Billy Corgan and the don't give a shits. Do you believe in parallel parallel? Do you live in parallel universes? If yes, do you realize that in another universe you are a highly religious man that believes everything that is written in the Bible? Um, I do believe in parallel universes. I don't necessarily believe that there are other iterations of myself within those universes. Maybe there are simply because of the you know the fact that. There's so many different possible combinations that, that there's ones that are like me. But they're not really me. They're just something that is, you know, um, similar to me in structure. Maybe even identical to me in structure. But they don't even have the same location in space. And if they believe in religious, that means the brain structure has to be different. Which means they're not me. They're just something that is similar to me that happens to exist, you know, in some other universe far, far away that I will never see or encounter and is really not relevant to my existence. What kind of people would be your victims if you were a serial killer? If I was a serial killer, my victims would be, um, uh, they wouldn't, there would be no profile, basically. I would, I would kill people in such a way that each death would seem as though it were different. You know, there would be, there would be no consistency to tie the crimes together. Because that's the only way I think you could get away with it these days, uh, with all the uh, forensic evidence that they have. Funshine bear or share bear? Don't care. Don't care about your funshine bear. Don't care about your share bear. Fuck you. What's your take on masochists? Horribly misspelled. 
I'm not sure hat one is. Perhaps you could explain your view on the matter. I'm interested to find out, sir. Yeah, well, you can't spell, so fuck you. Who would you like to smoke weed with? I don't even care, as long as I'm smoking weed. Uh, is there a specific question you're waiting for someone to ask before you stop making these videos? Nope, not really. I'll add, answer, I mean, you know, maybe there is. I don't know, but I'm, I don't have it in mind. Like, if there was just some question I wanted to ask, I would just fucking ask it to myself and answer it myself and just be like, here's the question, here's the answer, goodbye. Um, but no, this is just for the sake of interacting with my audience, actually. And, um, you know, it's hard because, you know, my audience is so big now that, you know, it's hard to give everyone personal attention. So I at least like to have the idea out there that I'm available to talk to people, which is why I try to respond to as many messages on Facebook as I can. I try to respond to as many Tumblr asks as I can. I try to do as many Q&As as I can here on this channel. I just like to answer questions. I like to interact with you guys, um, you know, but <laughs> apparently some people have a more cynical take on it. Um, what kind of webcam do you have now? It's quite good. It's a Logitech 920C, I believe. How would you make videos differently, if at all, if you did not rely on them for a living? I don't know that they would be all that different. Um, I just think maybe they'd be a little bit more rare. I don't think I'd make them quite as much. Um, TJ, why you no make game vids anymore? I just didn't have the time. I plan on re I plan on doing it again as soon as I have the spare time to devote to it. But right now, there's just so much uh, bullshit. Uh, this is the time. This is the first time I've thought of life as having a butthole. Thanks, TJ. Oh well, that's because in the um, in the video that I made demanding. Well, you could just go check it out for yourself. Uh, if there were an absolute king of earth, what economic policy... If you were absolute king of earth, what economic policies would you implement? Um, you know, that's kind of like a hard thing to answer off the cuff, but I imagine that it would be a lot more geared towards uh, curbing um, income inequality, at least massive income inequality. I just did a video very recently talking about my economics views over on TJ's Life, so of course that's still available to watch down there, I think. Um, TJ, do you ever miss your long flowing golden locks of the mightiest warrior? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's maybe, it's not that short these days, but I mean, I, when I had the long flowing locks, it just drew all the more attention to my high hairline because it would all go back. And so people would see how bald I truly am. And yes, I have been this way the whole time that I've been doing YouTube. I mean, you can go back and check for yourselves if you want. Um, I've always had a high hairline. But people are always continuously acting like, man, you've lost some hair. It's like, I've always had this shitty hairline. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a piece of shit is Ann Coulter? Is 10 the shittiest? Because then she's um, a million or infinity or some huge number. Like several infinities stacked up on top of each other. What are your views on asking boring, unoriginal questions without obvious answers? Oh, I see what you did. Uh, what do you think of Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Ho I don't care about Canada. Uh, why are you a masochist again? It doesn't click for me as to why you would be one given you're sort of outspoken. I'm not going to let anyone fuck with me or tell me what to do kind of attitude you got going on. What the fuck does that even have to do? One thing doesn't even have anything to do with the other. That's just stupid. I mean, okay, first of all, masochism is just the enjoyment of pain. Of certain types of pain, anyway. And I'm not even really much of a masochist. I mean, I'm somewhat of a masochist. More of a submissive. And that's like my private sexual life that you only know about because, one, I've talked about it on TJ's life. And, and two, because of the leaking of certain fucking videos. Um... But, I mean, you know, it's, it's just, it's who I am. I mean, you don't get to, like, look at someone and be like, I don't fucking see it, so fuck you. You don't, that's just, I mean, it's rude to do is what I'm saying. But I guess you don't care. Um, time to make public nudity legal? Yes, definitely. It shouldn't be illegal. Can you, I mean, I wouldn't go out naked. I'm too insecure. But, I mean, if other people want to do it, whatever. I mean, I don't even care. Like, some people are like, well, what if it's, like, a disgusting person? Like, I don't care. They're just as disgusting when they're wearing clothes, in my opinion. 
Um, and that goes for pretty much most people. I don't like humans. Can you please put this up as a downloadable audio file somewhere? I think you should make this a decent podcast. Nope, not happening, but you can do it if you want. And that's 44 minutes and 59 seconds of content. Now 45 minutes of content and 45 minutes, 2 seconds, 45 minutes, 4 seconds, 40 minutes, 5 seconds. I can't fucking keep up with it. Oh my god. Ah! Anyway, it's over.